All right, let's see who this is. This looks like a Minnesota exchange. Hello? Hello. Hello? Hello. 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 Uh, Hello. Can I can I help you? Hi, it's Kathy. Oh my gosh. It's, it's Kathy. Listen, Michelle Mabel was going to call, but she's busy disabling the the comments not only on YouTube but also on her other social media sites. Oh. Right now. <laughs> well, uh, with Catherine Harris. Yes. Oh my gosh, it's wonderful to uh, to hear from you. I saw a Minnesota exchange on the. I assumed it was. Uh, oh yes, I'm I'm working with Shelley right now. But as I say, she's having the devil's own time uh, with with the comments that are coming in because um, uh, you know from filing the necessary paperwork, and all of a sudden there was just a barrage of comments. So she's busy disabling. Uh, the people's the people's voice in that area. <laughs> well, uh, one might think that she would have a staff person do that, no? Or well, she's a real DIY. She likes to get get her get her hands dirty, and when she doesn't, you know, she puts one of her children to work. You know, with twenty eight hands, twenty eight hands make light work. You know that. Oh yes. That's why she supports the rolling back of child labor laws that you know is happening in Wisconsin and Maine. Uh, she has breathed a heavy sigh of relief that we can start putting the young ones to work earlier. Oh well, now so uh, Catherine Harris. I, I uh, now, uh, am I not mistaken? But uh, didn't you have issues with M Michelle Bachman in the past, or, or, or am I imagining that? I think you're imagining things. Right now, we're both in in this together, and and we have an awesome story to tell about a three-legged stool, as you heard last night in the debates, when Michelle was talking about when she becomes. President United States, um, and I don't, I, I, I don't know uh, how how to express to you how excited I am about the three-legged stool. <laughs> well. It's awesome the story that we have to tell well, as Republicans. Tell us the three-legged stool part. I think I may have had that turned down, or my daughter was crying during that part of the debate. Well, there's. Of course, the one leg of that, the EPA is a job killer. Everybody knows that. We, we know that, that carbon dioxide never hurt anyone. So don't even start with that, Sam, because I have a feeling that would be one of the, that'd be just like you to start talking about carbon dioxide. Right. Okay. So that's, so stool number one is that the EPA uh, is a job killer. Job killer! Okay, and what what are the other two stools? No, the other leg is is that we have to roll back taxes. You know that. We also I'm going to actually split that stool with child labor laws that have to be rolled back again. As Michelle can tell you, with 28 children, you need to revisit child labor laws. That's 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 a just that's a no brainer. Right, that's a no brainer. <laughs> And and so what's the third me. stool, or third Supply leg? Supply-side trickle-down. <laughs> Sorry? Supply-side trickle-down. Supply-side trickle-down. I mean, isn't that, isn't tax cutting uh, basically supply-side trickle-down, too? Well, it doesn't, I don't think it really, really, really emphasizes the trickle-down nature of, 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 of the almost golden shower, like rain down on the people. From the top. I see. There's going to be a golden shower on the people. It's it's, it's not even showers of it's gold. Like, it's going to be showers of gold. Showers of gold. So it's not even trickle down. It's like a shower down. It is. It's like a golden shower. A golden shower. Yes. <laughs> that's that's fantastic. Top. And so tell me, uh, Catherine Harris. Um, last we spoke, you were in uh, Jerusalem selling your hoodies mm -hmm. and your rapture wear. And now you're yes. in uh, Minnesota helping uh, Michelle Bachman run for president. Uh, but, uh, well, yes, I've, I've, I've just been summoned just to help out a little bit while she's disabling the comments on her social media site. And what are you doing for her? Well, making phone calls like this. 
um, watching the children. Um, also, I've offered to drive um, Michelle and, and, and some of the people who you might have seen last night asking questions. Uh, some of them are in our OA group. Uh, that uh, They also asked some questions last night at the debates on CNN. You have been uh, drinking, have you? No, no. Um, do you remember that lovely woman with the red hair who, who said she was a journalist? That was so cute when she said that. And she asked the question about her worry about the overreach of health care. Do you remember that? Uh, vaguely. Uh, yeah, vaguely. Yeah, she's, she's in our OA group. She's adorable. OA? Um, Overeaters Anonymous. Oh, I see. I didn't. OA. I know, you know, I, so. I, 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 I look at Katherine Harris. I look at uh, Michelle Bachman. I don't think that uh, you guys have a weight issue. Exactly. That's all thanks to OA. Not anymore, we don't. I don't ever remember That's a you. wonderful program. In fact, you know, I'm so glad you brought up Jerusalem because we are going to start Overeaters Anonymous in Israel. We're going over there to go for OA. We're also going to be starting a business where we organize your closets so in Israel, in Haifa. We're going to be um, – we, we, we are having a, a special with the um, LL, LL Airlines, uh -huh. and we are going to be uh, having a two-for-one. And you can have you, you're going to have discounts with the plane tickets as long as you agree to have your closet reorganized. Now wait a second, I'm I'm a little confused. You are helping Michelle Bachman run for president and as simultaneously pres as president of United States. Night? Are you saying United States? United States, as Michelle said last night, as president United States. United States. She's going to make sure that the EPA, which is a job killer, is, is gone. She's going to roll back taxes, roll back child labor laws, because it's an awesome three-legged stool. Because Republicans have a wonderful story to tell. Well, I mean, I'm giving you the opportunity to tell the story. I didn't hear really a story so much as just like the same old calls for tax cuts uh, uh, for corporations and wealthy people. Well, also, she wants to make sure that carbon dioxide, there isn't, there isn't this nonsense about carbon dioxide being bad for anyone. We're also going to try and roll back not only Roe v. Wade, but Griswold versus Connecticut so that you can't get your birth control because only killers use the pill. You oh, know that. Only killers uh, use the pill. It's murder it's to use the pill, so we're going to roll back Griswold versus Connecticut. What about condoms? Do you think that's, a, uh, that's murder? That's, we're going to leave that up to the states. That's a states' rights itch issue. C condoms that, are a states' rights issue. That's states' rights. Condoms are states' I rights. I see. Wow. This is quite a story. Uh, so what do you plan to do? Um, uh, so you're, you're, are you going to be continuing to help with the, uh, the campaign, or are you going to Jerusalem? I'm, I'm a little bit well, confused. Well, it's it's, we are going to be also in Jerusalem as well, campaigning in Jerusalem for our closet reorganization business. Um, it, we still will have the rapture hoodies and so forth. But if Michelle does become president of the United States, of course, we're going to push the rapture plans back about at least four years. Can you do that? I mean, are you able to plan the rapture plans uh, and, and actually change the date of the rapture? Michelle can do anything. She puts her mind to it, especially with the help of 28 children. Can do a lot. This has can been real uh, really uh, stunning. Um, We're uh, also going to be working with Andrew Breitbart and, and he or she who calls themselves Dan Wolf. Oh. Uh, yes, they're going to be working with us at, at Patriot USA 76. Uh, and the Born Free group. We call them the, the, the Born Free Zoo Crew. That's what I like to call them. They're going to be in Jerusalem with us. The Born Free Zoo Crew. This, of course, is the crew that was sort of tracking Anthony Weiner's tweets. Yes. Yes. And, and uh, believe it or not, we, we've been uh, such good friends with, with a couple of those gals who were, who were talking with Anthony Weiner. They will also be working with us at our closet reorganization business and our OA meeting. Wow, that's fantastic. It's really like one big happy family, isn't it? Yes, and we also have some of the hundreds of scientists, 
many of whom have Nobel Prizes who don't believe in evolution. They're going to be there. Wait, 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 you have hundreds of scientists who have Nobel Prizes that don't believe in evolution? Yes, yes, as Michelle has mentioned many times. I mean, she's quite right when she talks about it. She, she, has, she has personally interacted with the hundreds of scientists, many with that Nobel Prizes, who believe in intelligent design. Is there a name that you could give me? I'm curious as to which Nobel Prize winning scientist doesn't believe in evolution. Well, there's Ed. What, one's name's Ed. Ed. And then there's Fr Frank. <laughs> Frank. I, I mean, if you're asking for names, if you're asking for well, names. Well, I'm asking yeah. for specific names. I'm asking for names. You said there are Nobel Prize winning scientists. Hundreds. Hundreds. Who don't yes, believe all, all of whom have T-shirts that say, "I've got a three-legged stool." Well, it's an awesome story Republicans have to tell. Yeah, I mean, it's uh, well, Catherine. I appreciate the phone call, and I'm I would I would love it if you could call us, uh, you know, call in regularly, give us some updates from the campaign because it does look like Michelle Bachman is is running for president. It does, and let me just say, and we've got we've got stickers that we're printing now that say, don't fill out the census. That's how they rounded up the Japs. Well, don't fill out the census. Uh, That's how they rounded up the Japs. Catherine, you're aware Cath that the census took place already. Oh, I know, but you never know if the Democrats and the liberals are going to try and have another one because they didn't successfully round us up. Well, yeah, but the, so the, they the may census have happens thing. every 10 years. I mean, that's not, that's not going to change. I understand that. So another one's coming, am I right? Well, yeah. Don't fill out the years. census. That's how they rounded up the Japs. Okay. Uh, fair and enough. And I don't mean Jewish American princesses. I mean, speaking of which, though, I have to say, they ha I'm sure that we're going to do very well with them with our closet reorganization business in Jerusalem. The Jewish American princesses in Jerusalem, you're going to do well with their with their with the closet organizing business. Yeah. They love to have a neat closet. I mean, where are you going to put all your shoes? <laughs> I, I don't know. Uh, can I just ask you one more question? Uh, sure. Sarah Palin. It's, it seems like uh, Bachman jumping in the race. Does it leave any room for Sarah Palin? Who? I'm sorry, who? Sarah Palin. I'm not, I'm not familiar with her. She in OA? Sarah Palin, she was the vice presidential nominee. You, last time you were on this program, you couldn't stop talking about her. I don't, I'm, not, I'm sorry, I'm not, rec I'm not recalling that. I'm, I don't know who you're referring to. So you're telling me that you have basically, that you're not even acknowledging Sarah Palin's existence anymore? We have an awesome three-legged stool. We as Republicans have an awesome story to tell. Well, uh, an awesome story to tell. Number one, carbon dioxide has never harmed anyone. Number two, we are going to roll back Griswold versus Connecticut, and you will not be able to catch your killing pills. Of course, condoms are states states' rights issue, and there are hundreds of scientists, not just Ch Charlie and Frank, who believe in intelligent design. Okay. And and we still want people armed and dangerous on the issue. Of, of energy taxation and health care. Well, uh, that's, that's, uh, I, I, I appreciate your carrying that message. Uh, we've got to go. Uh, uh, Catherine Harris, thank you so golden much. Golden showers golden, trickling down. Yes, golden showers trickling down. Uh, <laughs> we've, uh, thank you so much for calling in. We thank will uh, hopefully talk to you again soon.